Christy, when you, when you read between the lines there, this whole debate about the police, and we know the police in the NT want the resources, we know the people on the ground, the NT say, give the police resources, we need the police out and, the, out and about in our communities. Do you reckon Thorpe's edging towards some sort of um, BLM, Black Lives Matter, defund the police sort of policy? I think she certainly is. Look, she has framed herself since leaving the Greens and this is on them for selecting her as a candidate. And of course, she once elected can choose to sit as an independent, which she has done. They should apologise uh, to the Australian people who vote for them for 10% around Australia and more in many electorates for their candidate vetting. However, she won't win uh, a Senate quota next election. Uh, so she is framing herself as an activist as some sort of extreme fringe and your right um, activist in that space. Uh, no wonder the minister was exasperated with her. And for Labor, this is really bad. It sets up the viewpoint and demonstrates the viewpoint that not all Indigenous people think the same about public policy in this country. It is showing the division within the Indigenous community around government action, and that is going to worry the Labor Party. I must say, I was walking past her office in inner city Melbourne not so long ago. I took a picture of her, her uh, hours of business, if I can call them that. Nicole, you've been an MP, as I said. She's uh, only open Monday to Thursday. Even then, she doesn't work nine to five. It's 10 to four. Uh, she's closed on the weekend by appointment. Well, let's see if she actually ever turns up. How do you run an office like that, Nicole Flint? Well, you can't, Peter. I mean, well, I suppose you can because you're a senator, but she deserves to lose her position in the Senate for a range of reasons, not least of all she doesn't appear to be working very hard. Gosh, when you're a marginal seat holder, it's seven days a week and almost 24 hours a day, Peter. That's, that's how you serve your community and those sorts of hours are, quite frankly, quite offensive.